I'm only a year late to this trend. Let's get right into it. Isles of Adventure. I'm sure this is the greatest game mode of all time. Hello, Captain Kira. That's a lot of text. I, I don't really want to read that, actually. It looks like I can cook, skydive, race, parkour, or swim. I'm going to go to racing because I like racing. Let's click on course one. Oh, okay. I'm going to let's go. We're going forward. Come on, go. All right, this is going to be, I'm, I'm about to set the world record time. Every other time set on this track are going to be years behind the time that I set. This track does not seem to have a lot of variety. You kind of, you kind of just go in a straight line, then occasionally turn slightly, but it's all good. And I finished it. Yay. Woo. There's a level two. Here we go. Now things are getting good. Oh. Okay, I think I lagged a little bit. And I finished, I think. Yay, I got a 30.24. That's only like four tenths off of the leaderboards. Also, there's a very obviously cheated time at first, which is 17 seconds faster than second place. That's great. Hear me out here. I want to get on a leaderboard for this. I'm about to like spend more time than I should grinding Pixel Paradise Racing. Let's do this again. I must say this lap is off to a great start. I feel like I've hit every corner really well. Oh, that was a good corner. This might be it. This might be it. Did I actually? How close am I? No, I'm a tenth of a second off. This video has very suddenly turned into me trying to get a leaderboard time in Pixel Paradise. This, this is really not the direction I thought this video would go. I can't lie. Turn. Oh, that was such a good turn. Oh, I got the double apex. This is good. I have a chance. I don't really know how the physics of this game works at all, but I think I'm going well. I can't really tell. Come on. Hey, that's actually... I actually got on it, I think. I'm not gonna lie, that was not the worst game mode of all time. Pixel Paradise is kind of exceeding my expectations already. Let's try out one of the multiplayer games, TNT Run. I remember from playing this game like a day one of the server that it was very laggy and just not enjoyable. So hopefully it'll be better, maybe. I'm gonna go with the Snow Golem kit. You don't have to pay for these, or at least the Snow Golem kit, so that's good. Allegedly this gives me snowballs, which it does, so how, how does this work? Okay, it does seem kind of laggy, like that. That TNT is falling pretty far behind me, I think. If I look at other people, it looks kind of... Eh, does it? Eh, it's kind of laggy, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like it does the TNT in bunches. Like, it'll get rid of two TNT, then not get rid of TNT for a little while, then get rid of the next two TNT, which just makes it seem kind of sluggish. Ah! Okay, that was sad. I want to play another game of this. I'm gonna snowball these people. Let's see what it does. Well, I would have seen what it does if I hit a single snowball. I often aim really high with my snowballs for some reason. I don't really know why. Also, speaking of Minecraft things, you might notice that my crosshair is incredibly tiny right now. You can probably barely see it if you're on like a phone or something like that. If you're wondering why I have a really small crosshair, it's because I felt like doing something different today. This is probably not something I'm going to do regularly. Also, I just got my snowballs back. I did not realize that was a thing that could happen. One thing I don't really love about this TNT run is that the maps seem to be kind of too big. Maybe it's just because the server doesn't have that many players so it can't fill the game but it always feels like there's way too much tnt like i could probably just walk in circles and it'd take me five minutes to get rid of all this tnt by myself and there's only one other person on my floor and now it's just me on this floor so i think i'll be able to win this or i could drop down and try to kill the guy down there i think i think that's what i'll do actually if i can find a good place to drop down okay i should be able to drop down here yep and now i'm gonna try to snowball them let's see if i can hit my snowballs Okay, that was a very awkward death, I think. Like, the snowballs didn't really seem to do very much knockback. I might just be delusional, though. I have acquired my first Pixel Paradise victory. I'm incredibly proud of myself. Let's play something else. Let's finish off this video playing Battle Boats. That seems kind of interesting. I don't really know what this is at all. So it looks like I have to select a color. Now what do I do? Oh. Oh, what? Okay. The way you drive this is weird. You don't really use your movement. You just point your character in the direction you want it to go. I wonder what the combat in this is going to be like, because it's called Battle Boats. I'm hoping they'll incorporate some Minecraft mechanics into the combat, because generally games that aren't built upon just default Minecraft mechanics don't do well, and this is definitely something that is not built upon default Minecraft mechanics. So what do I do? I think this is just like Snake.io. Maybe. Did I just kill a man? I don't think I did. Oh! I, <laughs> I, think, I think if you leave the boat, 
you just die. I hit my crouch button and it just, it just yeeted me out of there. Or maybe I ran into something, I don't know. I have learned my lesson to not hit the crouch button. I wonder if you can hit people in this, that'd be interesting. I think it'd be really cool if you had like bows and swords and the players had armor and they were just like running around in this. Well, not running around, swimming? No, boating? I don't know what the correct term is. Cause I felt like the combat would be really interesting. I just forgot the int wait, what? Why am I invincible? I thought I just died because I ran into someone's trail. I'm gonna try to punch some people. That guy seems like he's. Oh, never mind. Oh, what just. I wiped out. Apparently, I died. I think it's because I ran into the island, I, I guess. I think that's gonna be it for me for Pixel Paradise. Final review of the server. It seems like a lot of its games are based on non Minecraft mechanics, which historically has not appealed well to a Minecraft based audience. But at least the games have some originality-ish kind of maybe i don't know and this is a very surface level analyzation of just a small fraction of the server everything i say here could be just terrible analyzation i'm not quite sure why i started giving an analyzation of pixel paradise but i'll roll with it i guess thank you for watching see you next time and bye bye